Do you really need EARC to enjoy Dolby Atmos? Not really. HDMI ARC can handle it just fine, at least for streaming. Services like Netflix, Apple TV and Prime Video use Dolby Digital Plus to deliver Atmos, and ARC supports that format without breaking a sweat. The funny thing is, ERC sounds like a must-have, but unless you're into uncompressed Blu-ray audio or super high-fidelity setups, it's kind of overkill. For most people, ARC gets the job done perfectly. So before you rush to upgrade your gear, maybe just tweak your audio settings and spend that EARC money on better snacks. Now, let's clear up a common confusion. There are two types of Dolby Atmos, compressed and uncompressed. The compressed version, sent using Dolby Digital Plus, works over HDMI IRC. It still sounds great and delivers that immersive overhead audio experience. You'll hear planes fly overhead or rain surround you from all directions. Even if it's compressed, it's still really immersive. And it's what most people are enjoying when they say they're watching a Dolby Atmos movie at home. Think of ARC as the standard lane and EARC as the express lane. Both get you to Dolby Atmos, but the express lane delivers more audio data, which means better surround precision, clearer effects, and no audio compression. Even better, EARC soundbars are backward compatible. So if your TV only supports ARC, an EARC-capable soundbar will simply fall back to regular ARC. This makes it easy to upgrade without replacing your entire setup. If you mostly stream content, ARC is more than capable. But if you're an audiophile or want to future-proof your setup for 4K Blu-rays, EARC is worth the investment. So how do you use ARC to get Dolby Atmos? First, check that your TV and soundbar both support HDMI ARC. Look for the port labeled ARC on the back. Next, make sure your TV supports Dolby Digital Plus. If it does, you're almost there. Connect the HDMI cable from your soundbar to the TV's ARC port. Most modern TVs will auto-detect the signal, but in some cases, you may need to manually enable ARC or Dolby Atmos in your TV's audio settings. The Dolby Digital Plus codec compresses audio slightly, but with lossless decompression at the soundbar end, you'll still get immersive 3D surround sound. It's not quite as pristine as uncompressed audio from a Blu-ray disc, but for most people, it's indistinguishable. One last tip, don't forget to check your HDMI cable. For ARC, most high-speed HDMI cables will do the job. But if you're aiming for EARC and uncompressed Dolby Atmos, it's best to use an ultra-high-speed HDMI cable. They're not expensive, and they ensure you won't run into signal or sync issues. Oh, and if you want to understand the full difference between Dolby Digital and Dolby Atmos, there's a video linked in the top right corner. Don't watch it yet though, I'll remind you at the end. So, to wrap this up, no, you don't need EARC to enjoy Dolby Atmos, unless you're trying to pass uncompressed audio from a 4K Blu-ray player. For most people streaming Netflix or Disney+, Plus, HDMI RC works just fine. If this video helped clear things up, give it a like. It helps others find it too. And don't forget to subscribe for more breakdowns like this. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next one.